What's the worst war crime you can think of, and why is it eating without a table? Because today in RimWorld, our colonists will be dying to avoid it. All 100 of them. I'm the Grim Cleaper, and before we get into the video, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. That way you can help me sacrifice my firstborn to get the blessing of the YouTube algorithm. Now, on to the video. As I hinted at before, this is going to be a 100 colonist challenge. But if any one of our colonists eats with a table, they will die. Everyone does have one passion in everything, but trust me, we're gonna need it. In terms of equipment, we do need some basic food, although thinking about it now, having no food might actually be better than having food at the start of the game. Oh dear god, the three of you barely awake. Oh, only three, huh? And there we go, our beautiful, beautiful, oh boy, I feel my frame rate dropping. I love how the moment I open the work tab, boom, I am now blind. Now right off the bat, the biggest mistake I can possibly make is if I unforbade all of these packaged survival meals. Because the moment that people start to get hungry, they're gonna start dying. Which is also why we oh so desperately need to get up all of these tables. Okay, I originally had the level up noise on from a mod, and uh, I I'm realizing why that's a bit of a mistake. I feel like I should definitely turn that off by now. The other thing we're gonna need is some weapons, and uh, unfortunately all of my colonists have about zero crafting skills, so this this is the best we can do. Okay, I'm honestly surprised that none of our colonists have died so far, just because all it takes is a little nibble of some food and then immediate death. Oh, oh no, 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 stop! Okay, we've already taken some casualties. Uh, let's, let's, uh, oh my god, there's like eight people that are about to consume food right now. Okay, okay, now, now that we've built all the tables, I think there's enough space for people to start eating their food in a nice orderly fashion. Oh, thank goodness. I think, I think we're okay. I, uh, I mourn the loss of our four floppas, but at the end of the day, everyone is extremely expendable. Something else I want to do really quickly is just, you know, seal off these insects, because I know for a fact we're going to get clapped. Although I guess given the fact that there's like 96 of us at this point, we could probably just bum rush them. Wait, I'm confused. Some of our colonists are stoned on smoke leaf. Where did everybody get those? We don't have any drugs in this colony. Where where did they materialize from? Just looking at all the speech bubbles and seeing floppa and floppa and floppa and floppa. Okay, maybe I should have named them like something numerical. Also, we're definitely gonna run to food pretty fast given the fact that we're already at 340 meals out of 500. Oh, and did I forget to mention that uh, cannibalism is acceptable in our colony, so if any of our colonists die, they won't be going to waste. Oh, wait, wait, what? How did you even die? <laughs> Oh no, wait another one! And, and, and a third. Okay, I, I need to figure out what exactly is causing this. I think they're just taking meals on hand and then eating them out of the field. Oh Jesus, the losses are mounting. So to counteract this, I think I'm just gonna throw some tables out in the very middle of the field. There's no winning here, is there? Hmm, these colonists are in a poor mood and may have a minor mental break at any time. Ah. Uh, maybe after watching some other YouTubers do this, I should have realized it's actually difficult. <laughs> okay, so uh, our numbers are getting thinned down pretty significantly from this 100 colonists challenge. As a matter of fact, we don't really have a third row anymore. But I think for the most part, we're... Oh, okay. I... Uh, guys, you gotta stop. There are uh, 24 corpses that are just lying oh my god make, make that 27 corpses that are just lying around in our fields because people are eating without a table food binge i, I feel like that's a death sentence have five pods on a mental break at the same time oh trust me it is gonna get so much worse uh i think we're rocking at about every single one of our colonists at risk of a mental break it's fine, we're, we're just thinning the herd at this point. Our cooks are on overtime because they've just been constantly butchering human corpses. You know, I'd say this is going badly, but honestly, it's going about as I figured it would. So, my friend Floppa died. C could you be a little more specific, perhaps? Oh, thank God. You know, I say that, but it's not even really going to do all that much to save our colony. So, we've been here for about two days, and, uh, you know, we started with 100 colonists. We are down to 59. 41 people have died because they didn't eat with the table. 
Wait, visitors? Hold on a minute. Does the whole dying if they don't eat with the table apply to people who visit us as well? What? Well, wait, Trauma 7? He got into a social fight. Somebody bit him in the brain? Wait, what? So I have an idea. These people are about to go and eat their food because they're going to get hungry soon. So what happens if I uninstall all the tables in the area? Oh, he's doing it. He oh, oh my god, it does kill them. They just die instantly. Oh my god, this seems so breakable. Wait a minute, what's gonna happen when we have a trader caravan? Oh no. We have 3,500 human meat from being here for three days, and all of it is from our own colonists. That is moderately concerning. Oh, you know, I was actually gonna try to grow cotton in order to create clothes for our colonists, and then I realized, oh yeah. Oh, what? Okay, that was a random casualty. Guess we're gonna need some tables in here as well. People can't walk the whopping, you know, 20 feet just to get over here so they eat and don't die. Okay, so at this point, I think we've mostly stabilized our colony. I mean, we've only lost a couple of people in the past... Well, I was gonna say a couple of days, but I guess in the past couple of days we lost 42 colonists, so that's something. But anyways, we've actually got a room for people to sleep. We're digging on a bigger room over here to make one giant barracks. And the odds of our colonists dying from not eating at a table are relatively low. What I am worried about though is that uh, as soon as the psychic soothe wears off, we are absolutely screwed. Cause I'm pretty sure it's the one thing holding our colony together. I also just love that I keep going to every person and I just see my friend Floppa died, my friend Floppa, my friend Floppa. It's a good thing they don't realize that there are different Floppas. Hmm, so what do we name our colony here? Something equal to the horribleness that we're doing here. There, that, uh, that probably reflects this pretty accurately. Oh god, this is our first raid? Our people suck ass! Well, uh, this guy's got a laser sword. Uh, you have a laser SMG and another laser sword. Okay. Okay, we're fighting the Master Chief K-pop group over here. Jesus Christ. Now, luckily, there are 57 of us and only a couple of them. So, oh my God, they all have laser swords. How do we beat this? Inspired recruitment. Yeah, I don't think we need any more people. We need guns. Oh God, here it comes. Oh no, not the food. At least we have the best firefighter squadron in the history of history. Oh Jesus, wait, they're assaulting the colony. Oh, wait. Oh my god, no, they're fleeing! They ate without tables! I totally forgot this would affect them! Oh my god, we've just claimed a whole bunch of loot and more food! Oh yeah, and- oh, No, no wait, stop, 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 stop! Okay, good, no, oh. And, and I'm realizing I'm an idiot. It turns out me trying to let my people walk over here and, uh, consume the survival meals was actually a bad idea. Oh, eh. How did you even die? I just realized there's actually a modifier on pawns when they eat without a table. This pawn is eaten without a table and fucking died. I'm glad that the uh, author of the mod has a sense of humor. Oh no, the psychic soothe is ending. And watch as every single one of our colonists moves from poor mental break to extreme mental break. Woo! Floppa said something about roulette to Floppa. I hope it's Russian roulette. Uh, also under Empire Raid, although that's not really that bad, I think. Okay, I'm I'm blind. I, uh, I didn't think that there were three groups of enemies, along with a red ogre with a blade for an arm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, it's time for the great Floppa Armada to, uh, form a wall here with all the assorted slingshots and bow and arrows that they have. We do at least have laser guns and laser swords, so I suppose that's pretty decent. Oh, Jesus, the friendly fire is gonna be insane. Get him! Overwhelm them! If we have nothing, we do have the numbers. They fall before our might. Our wimpy, wimpy, pathetic might. Okay, squad one is fleeing. This is good, this is good. We've actually got a chance here because we are using laser-grade weaponry on them. And we're taking not that many casualties. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that. Okay, we've lost a lot of floppas, but at the end of the day, I think we came out on top here. Okay, everybody's fleeing at this point, but we have a lot of colonists to go tend to. Okay, we're taking just a couple of losses here. Not, uh, nothing too bad. All right, so we're sitting at a cool 22 extreme mental breaks. Uh, things are not going ideally, but on the bright side, at some point, we're going to lose so many people that our colonist is back to some kind of manageable level.
Uh, Berserk. See, it's a good thing I sent everybody onto a uh, attack on site. Oh boy. Immediately as people are going Berserk, they're just getting overwhelmed. So our base currently looks like something uh, out of the gates of hell. Gave up. Oh, that's nice. Don't worry, we, we've developed ways to uh, persuade people like you back to the colony. Ah, great. Floppa had a change of hearts coming back to the colony, as one would think. Oh, another person gave up. Again, that's uh, a very big mistake for you. I, I would very much advise against that course of action. Okay, I uh, I think we're starting to break the game, considering that uh, it says moral chancel disrespected. Room impressiveness 85 out of 60? What makes even less sense is that as I clean it, the room impressiveness actually goes down. Uh, oh cool, we got a trade caravan uh, that has vampires too in it, I guess. So I think we might be able to do our same old little thing here, but if we block off the tables, hopefully they all just die. Solitary Praetor wants you to keep him safe at the Nuremberg Trials for a few hours. I'm not exactly sure if that's the best place to keep someone safe. Okay, I've uninstalled all the tables, and hopefully they should start- Oh yeah, there they go, trying to eat their meals. And uh, unsurprisingly, I think they're already retreating. So we're down to 35 people at this point, which I mean is much more manageable than 100. And honestly, our situation is going pretty well. Let these uh 65 pairs of pants be a testament to what we've gone through to get where we are today. Bless all the fallen floppas. Okay, another raid. That is a significant amount of people. Now, by this point, we are down to, I think, about 30-something people. About 35, I can see. But I think we're actually going to be somewhat prepared for this. Considering that I've re-equipped most of our colonists with some pretty good weapons, I think maybe we could hold the line here. Also, I mean, this is our front line, so... Ho, ho, ho there, buddy. Oh, God. Cause burn. Oh, I'm feeling significantly less confident about our chances all of a sudden. We do have decent AoE damage in the form of these poison hoses but uh, they're also firing at us with what is literally a minigun's worth of arrows. Oh, thank God. I think we did it. They're fleeing. Oh, finally. All it took was uh, a couple of casualties. Okay, but I think maybe we'll be okay. I mean, from this fight, we're going to get so much food that we're never going to really have to worry about eating again. So that's at least something. Uh, no. No, I don't think we can have any luck. See, and this is why you try to remember to put your coolers to actually freeze your freezer. Or else, uh, well, this happens. I'm not entirely sure what our odds of success are here, but, uh, I'm guessing they're very low. I mean, we're actually holding out here for- uh, oh, okay. I mean, I was gonna say pretty well, and then the nutrient-based dispenser broke. Eh! While all 23 of these hives ravage our colony, now is the best time for me to tell you to follow my Twitch with the little icon right here, where I stream RimWorld and do playthroughs of various colonies. Thanks for watching. See ya.